What kind of fucking stupid argument is this, dude? Like, oh, well, God made you diabetic, so you have to die. <laughs> it's called medicine! Your wife is literally a doctor, Ben! You know what I do care about, though? Postmates propagandizing on behalf of anal sex and being a BDSM site. That's what I do care about. They're trans in our children, according to Ben Shapiro. And Postmates is also uh, teaching bottoms how to bottom. And this is what our society has done through in, in every element. And again, this, this all bleeds down from the idea that it's not just about tolerance for people who live different lifestyles. It's not just about tolerance for people who have different emotional or sexual orientations. It's not about any of that. It's about celebration. The entire society must celebrate. Not only must the entire society celebrate, the entire society must propagandize on behalf of this sort of activity. So for example, I mean, this is insane. Postmates is a company that delivers things to you, right? You order food via Postmates. And now they're delivering anal sex to you. That's right, folks. They're delivering anal sex to your doorstep. I did it the other day. That was my impression. I was not aware that Postmates was actually a BDSM site teaching you about anal sex. But apparently that is what Postmates is now. So Postmates, in honor <laughs> of Pride Month, put out a video and a tweet essentially telling people what to eat. I I've been informed by my producers that this is what this commercial is about because, frankly, I found it somewhat puzzling. Apparently, this is about... He was informed by his producers. Come on, Ben. Come on, Ben. You knew what that po you knew what that commercial was about, dude. You know more gay shit than like a Midwestern gay, dude. You your brain is so full of fucking all matter of different trans knowledge and and gay shit in general just so you can fucking complain about it, okay? You know more about LGBT shit than like 90% of LGBT that live in like the Rust Belt, okay? Also, let me just put let me just put something out there. First of all, it's not just men that can bottom. You know what I mean? Like women do anal too. Important information for people to know. What kinds of food you ought to eat so as not to have messy diarrhea before you engage in anal sex. This is being promoted by Postmates. Postmates was bought by Uber in a $2.65 billion all-stock deal back in 2020. This is an enormous American company. And it is propagandizing on behalf of anal sex <laughs> in its marketing. It's a food company. It's a food delivery company. Here is what this, this looks like. Oh, he's going to show it? I love that. Anyway, boring crypto, uh, anal sex, not as boring. Now, that's not the only thing that got Ben in a tiffy, okay? He's been real fucking pissed off. He's been real pissed off because Fox News betrayed him. Fox News betrayed Ben Shibibo personally. How? By having uh, a, a, a trans 14-year-old kid that they didn't immediately advocate the murder. Very fucked up, folks. <laughs> you won't believe it. I did a video on this on my YouTube, by the way. Uh, originally, when it first came out, because he had, like, this insane meltdown where he was, like, fucking, you know, posting about it and shit like crazy. Turns out he also made a video on it. Uh, video was a banger. Already at 328,000 views, by the way. Pick up a You know what I'm saying? Like, shit was popping off. You guys can watch that. But let's watch what Ben had to say in his own video. Now, the institutions of our society have become so corrupt that even conservative institutions, purportedly conservative institutions, are pushing propaganda. And this brings me to, again, this is the most disturbing thing that I have seen in quite a while. Not because of what it says. I've seen this sort of content on CNN, MSNBC, Good Morning America, for that matter. But because of where this appeared. So this appeared on Fox News on Friday. And the fact that this appeared on Fox News a purportedly conservative network that stands for the values of traditional American conservatism that believes in Judeo-Christian values and that it is propagandizing openly on behalf of transing small children because that's what this segment is. It was a five-minute segment about why it is not just okay, it is good to try to turn your little girl into a little boy. And I want to go through it in detail because it is suggestive of how the insane Amorality and immorality of the left have completely penetrated mainstream conservative institutions because everybody is so afraid of just saying no. This was on Fox News, and this is unbelievable to me. It's unbelievable to me. 
And frankly, as Matt Walsh has said, if I don't appear on Fox News because I'm saying this, well, so be it. But somebody is going to have to call out the fact that the it, this is too important an institution for the right to simply let it go. It really is. Right? Again, if MSNBC or CNN did this segment, and be like, okay, well, that's par for the course. But Fox News, there, there are few enough conservative outlets, and Fox News being Fox News has fallen. They don't. They're not calling for mass execution of transgender people. Fox News has lost the plot, folks. It's awesome. This is great, dude. Ben's entire world is like falling apart. One fucking time, dude. The one time Fox News does like a... The irony is that Fox News did that on their morning slot. You know they're never going to do that again. And you know it's like, uh, you know, it was like a one-off pretty much. And yet that, even that was so much. In the largest, it kind of matters. If Fox News starts embracing the radical left gender ideology that the left espouses, it's no longer conservative and it can't be trusted. Honest to goodness, I don't know what they're thinking, but this is insane. So this appeared on, on Fox News on Friday. If you saw me walking down the street, you wouldn't think anything. Nobody cares because you're sharing, you're spreading it to 100,000 others. What you fail to see here is that Ben is unironically doing more propaganda for this piece of agitprop to go out. Like him fucking just straight up posting about it was awesome. You playing that spooky game later? Yes. Different. 14 year old Ryland Whittington is a typical Southern California teenager. And the Whittingtons, along with mom Hillary, dad Jeff, and sister Brinley, are a typical family. The only difference, though, in Ryland's eyes, is what this family can mean to the tens of thousands of kids under 18 who identify as transgender. We put our story out there so people could see that like, there's another family out there that is going through what we're going through, or there's another family who's proud of who they are. Before Ryland could even speak, he managed to tell his parents that he is a boy. I could just see that it, it wasn't him trying to be a brat. It was like painful. It was truly painful for him to have to wear it was such a good clothing segment. And, and for us constantly telling him that you're a girl. Okay, pause it for a second, please. This is insane. Before Ryland could speak, again, this is on Fox News. This is Fox News saying it is good to trans the children. Before the kid could speak, she was saying she didn't want, first of all, since when do two-year-olds make decisions? Okay, I, I, I have a two-year-old. My two-year-old this morning, I went into her room and she was lying in her crib and she had a, a large pee-filled diaper. And I said, is it just pee or is it poo? And she said, it's pee. And naturally there was poo inside. Is this the kind of person you want making decisions? Huh? What? About their and she said, and she had a, a large pee-filled diaper, and she was lying in her crib, and she had a, a large pee-filled diaper, and I said, is it just pee or is it poo? And she said, it's pee, and naturally there was poo inside. Ben Shapiro destroys his two-year-old in the marketplace of ideas. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. That's fucking dope. Fire. Is this the kind of person you want making decisions about their lifelong, quote-unquote, gender identity? Should I take my two-year-old seriously when she expresses her needs, wants, and desires? Because if I did, she'd be wearing her sky pajamas all day long, every day, dirty, filled with urine. So no. My two-year-old does not get to make decisions. I love her. She's sweet. She's two. It's because I love her that there are rules and because I am the parent. But here's Fox, Fox News promoting the idea that kids, before they can speak, can pick membership in the opposite gender. Kids don't even know the alphabet at this point. The Bro, he is so mad. This is awesome. He's framing his two-year-old like a mayoral candidate. Can you really trust this motherfucker who lies and can't make a decision? Yeah. Dude, what the fuck would happen if Ben Shapiro, one of, God forbid, one of Ben Shapiro's children was like, I might be trans. You know what I mean? Holy fuck, dude. The kid literally, it says in the report, does not know how to talk. Does not know how to talk. And the parents are like, oh, well, that must be the opposite gender, which means that this is Munchausen syndrome by proxy. That's all this is. These parents have decided that they wanted to trans their kid and because they wanted to trans their kid, they were going. It, dude, it, it is kind of funny that he, he keeps saying transing our children. Uh, like, I mean, 
I can't believe that this is like a serious, this is a serious news coverage now. Parents are trying to trans their children. They're transing. She's transing her children. Seems like the kid's pretty happy. But that's probably the reason why he's mad. You know what I mean? Going to make up, and how do I know this? Because by the time this kid was five, mom was writing books and going on national TV about this. By the time the kid was five, okay, that, that's about the parents. That's not about the kid. They're horrible for this little girl. It's insane. Okay, and Fox News promoting. This little girl. When Rylan. Bro, dude, Ben is literally owning a fucking little boy in the marketplace of ideas, okay? He's just straight up dunking on a 14-year-old kid. By misgendering a 14-year-old trans boy, okay? Just ruthless shit, dude. Just fucking awful, awful, ruthless, dunking on a fucking 14-year-old, dude. Holy fuck. I swear to God, I'm sorry, dude, but, like, these, these motherfuckers, they, oh, they, they just want, they want every trans person to commit suicide. Like, straight up. There is no other, there is no other justification for this kind of, like, cruelty. It's just straight up, straight up. They're just like, please, please. They're begging, okay? Came out at age five. A few years later, came he out had the at full age five? support of his parents. Initially, there was some pushback from us yeah. in trying to understand this. We were confused like most people are. We thought that gender and sexuality were the same thing. It took us a while to figure out that those two things are different and that children actually do recognize their gender identity very young. Some of them, not all. But they listened to Rylan and to Hillary's conservative faith. I'm a liberal and not a bigot. I don't understand how a kid can know they're trans that young. I kind of agree. I mean, dude, I, I don't get it either. Okay, I don't get it. But that's because we're fucking cis, dog. You know what I mean? Sometimes you just got to ask trans people. Sometimes you just got to be like, hey, I don't get this. Can you explain this to me? Does it work for you? Like, how do you understand it? And they all seem to collectively agree. And maybe you don't understand it. Because you're not fucking trans, you know? And it's kind of like, uh, it's kind of the same attitude for, for like, homosexuality, right? Like, you have the urge to suck a penis. Do you want, do you want a fuck, do you want to have sexual intercourse with a butthole? Do you, do you want to get fucked in your ass? No? Okay, well, some people do. So what's up? What's it to you? You know what I mean? Sometimes it's okay. Not to, like, want to literally interfere with every other facet of existence that doesn't correspond to the way you see the world. The cis response to gender dysphoria is like people without, uh, without depression telling those who have it to just be happy, lolle. Most people realize it's foolish and condescending to say about depression, so why not gender dysphoria? I think people that say that about gender dysphoria also say that about depression, too, and don't give a shit, if we're going to be honest. Do you have another point besides appeal to authority? Wait, what? We're talking about fucking... How do you think we can ever arrive at a conclusion about trans experience without asking trans people? Did you just say that's an appeal to authority? How do you think these things uh, get uh, uh, discerned? Are you okay, chatter? Dude, this is what happens when you're such a debate pervert that your brain is just completely fucking broken. Wait, this, is, this person is like supposedly pro-trans too? What? You alright, dude? I swear to God. I mean... The way I look at it is, the way I look at it is this, okay? It seems like, this is a debate lord that's pro-trans, just FYI. Oh, that's how it works. This is why I think debate lords need to be fucking re sent to re-education camps forcibly, like at gunpoint, and be tortured uh, in, in very inhumane ways. If it were up to me, I would probably pass legislation for that. Straight up. Like, if, it, if I was God King, I think democratically we could arrive at gulags for debate perverts. Straight up. Re-education debate lords. Uh, Re-education uh, camps for debate lords. For sure. Like, spend some time in the work camps a little bit. You know what I mean? And um, I, would, I would decriminalize crime in other facets. And then there's just so much fucking open... There's so much new real estate. You know what I mean? We would just put, like... Like, if you're pro-trans, but then you're still like, well, do you have any other argument other than appeal to authority about, like, trans existence? Yeah, going to jail. You're going to re-education camp. Sorry. It's just what's happening to you. Well, not sorry, actually. 
You get released when you can debate your way out, but the only way to do that is to stop being a debater. Yes. By the way, that's not even what an appeal to authority means for the record. He didn't even use that correctly, which is also the funniest thing. What do I always say, bro? I swear to God, debate perverts never know how to debate appropriately. Fucking five-year-old, are you listening to yourself? Yeah, first of all, this process didn't start at the age five. I don't know if you understand that. Like, just because at the age of five, they started noticing certain things about their child doesn't mean that they put the fucking kid on puberty blockers at the age five, okay? It took a long-ass time. You're just strawmanning. Exactly. Of course I am. And I'm doing ad hominem. Uh, ad hominem. Ad hominem, sir. There are no puberty blockers at the age five because there's no puberty at age five. Okay? From what I understand, there was nonconformity happening with respect to the gender norms that this child was being subjected to. Okay? And some kids do this. Some kids play with fucking Barbies and then don't want to, uh, and then don't say, hey, you know what? I'm a woman, actually. Okay? It happens. Some kids might even want to dress up and, and uh, uh, dress in, like, uh, women's clothing and not be trans. It's fine. It happens. And then some kids are, like, doing that and then also saying, like, no, I'm actually, I'm a girl. Please treat me like a girl. And then they get a little bit older and then they undergo mental health evaluations and talk to professionals who then say, okay, this kid might be fucking trans, dude. In this circumstance, it was an assigned female at birth child, okay? Sometimes it's just dress up. Other times, it can mean that you're trans, okay? Exactly. People are sort of blindly ignoring all the research and data pediatrics have had for some reason. I'm not a debate lord and pro-trans, but what's your take on the trans kids who grow up and regret becoming trans as an adult? What, you mean like the fucking 0.1%? There are people who, of course, fucking regret making decisions like this. But if you were to actually look at the broader fucking argument and the broader conversation, the rare, the rare instances where people fucking regret it are not reason alone to uh, straight up decide to stop a medical procedure. That's like literally looking at abortion. People who regretted getting an abortion and being like, well, some women regretted getting an abortion. So we must forcibly make sure every woman carries a pregnancy to term. But except you don't make that argument, do you? You don't. The reason why you don't make that argument is because your favorite debate pervert hasn't decided to fucking be a transphobe all of a sudden and go work on a fucking Nazi website. Okay? That's the only reason why you're thinking about it from this point of view. And because there's so much, so much information in mainstream media, especially coming out of fucking Turf Island, that tells you, like, no, actually, you should be questioning this. This is really fucked up. Yeah, teens never make any decisions they regret sometimes. Yeah, I mean, of course they do. Of course, it can happen. I'm not saying it doesn't. But that would be fucking ridiculous to just be like, yeah, we're going to stop this medical procedure that other doctors and professionals believe is... is good and has demonstrably been successful in like uh curbing back for example uh, the suicide rate in fucking trans people uh then oh, uh the the suicide rate of trans people because like a couple people decided they regretted it and have propagandized it endlessly wish i never joined the military literally the worst decision i made in my life i mean that is actually causing demonstrable harm joining the military both to you and to the world around you, obviously. So that's different. I was a trans woman for years and then realized I was non-binary, but I don't for a second regret my previous transition. Also, once again, the conversation should never be around like gender confirmation surgery in this situation because like, if you're under the age of 18, uh, you're not getting fucking top or bottom surgery. It's like very, very severely, incredibly fucking rare for doctors to allow that to happen. And there is no instance of a fucking top or bottom surgery happening where, uh, where, where like a million medical evaluations haven't taken place thus far. So the reality is we don't understand all of these complicated uh, medical uh, procedures, okay, for the most part. But the only reason why we see the, the trans uh, question as something different than like fucking heart surgery or some shit is because everyone wants to talk about it and everyone wants to regulate trans existence and regulate it away for the most part because they think it's fucking weird and they think it's like impacting the way they see gender. And in a way it does because it breaks the fucking prior uh, comfort that you had 
from knowing that like gender was a certain way and it was just the sex. It was male and female. That's it. That's where it comes from. Chatters don't realize how deep being trans goes. My ex told me she used to try to mutilate her penis when she was under the age of seven at the time. She didn't know being trans wasn't an option. She shaded her body and the labels that were put on because of it. Nobody told her to. And there is there are so many instances of like gender affirming surgery and gender affirming hormone therapy that people have no issue with. Okay. I mean, I do a fucking super light version of that. I, I take fucking hormone blockers. I take DHT blockers. That's what Propecia is, okay? It's an FDA-regulated drug that many men take in order to combat male pattern baldness, right? Normal. Joe Rogan is an advocate for TRT, testosterone replacement therapy. That is gender, aff uh, ge that is gender affirming hormone therapy. Joe Rogan literally loves that shit and advocates for it non-fucking stop. And yet when it comes to trans people existing, he's like, oh, no, hold on. You know, not on my watch. And that's the issue. Like, we just only fucking think it's weird when trans people do it. Yes, the B in LGBT stands for balding. Exactly. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah, so how is it different? Wait, what? Yeah, I don't have a problem with that. I'm saying I don't have an issue with TRT. Just like I don't have an issue with HRT. Like, I don't care. It's ridiculous. Will believe that hey, stop it right there. This is just open propaganda. Hillary's conservative faith, really? Tell me about how her conservative faith says there's no such thing as male or female and boys can be girls. Please explain. Please explain how conservative faith tells you. Again, now we're speaking in a faith context. And when we talk about transgenderism, I don't cite the Bible. But when you start talking about conservative faith, which suggests to me some sort of biblical adherence, how do you explain the opening of Genesis, which specifically says male and female, he made them? Please explain how your conservative faith says by the way, the Bible specifically says men are not to dress like women and women are not to dress like men. Please explain how it is that you believe that your conservative faith justifies taking a baby girl and turning him into a socially transitioned baby boy who will always be a girl and who all will, will now spend the rest. Yeah, dude, Ben Shapiro, once again, owning a happy, smiling 14 year old trans boy in the marketplace of ideas. OK, like they should we should put up fucking Ryland's photo. Okay. Like next to next to Ben talking about this, which by the way, he also correctly gendered him. He correctly gendered him again, which once again directly means that he is having a hard fucking time misgendering this trans boy. Okay? So he has to literally stop, take a deep breath and purposefully fucking misgender a 14-year-old trans boy. He's just happy. Every time Ben misgenders people, he's doing it intentionally, okay? ...of her life in this conflict with her own biology. And this is what Fox... Like, he accidentally correctly gendered him and then now is, like, flipping the script, okay? He got the pronouns right and then fucking misgendered. Again, now we're speaking in a faith context. And when we talk about transgenderism, I don't cite the Bible. But when you start talking about conservative faith, which suggests to me some sort of biblical adherence, how do you explain the opening of Genesis, which specifically says male and female, he made them? Please explain how your conservative faith says, by the way, the Bible specifically says men are not to dress like women and women are not to dress like men. Please explain. Dude, how the Bible says a lot of fucking dumb shit. It doesn't matter if you use every little thing that the Bible says is like your guidance then you're going to be fucked up, okay? You're going to find yourself fucking up a lot. It is that you believe that your conservative faith justifies taking a baby girl and turning him into a socially transitioned baby. Turning him. Baby boy who will always be a girl and who all will, will now spend the rest of her life in this conflict. He just hit the him there and was like, fuck! <laughs> with her own biology. And this is what Fox News is pushing. This is insane insane and insulting to its audience and insulting to reality, by the way, because the whole thing is just pure propaganda, as we will see. You believe in God and he, you know, created us the way he wanted us. Well, then, yes, he created Ryland just the way he is. And oh, so that's why he needs it. Sorry. He, right, that's why he created Ryland the ways, which is why we're going to need to put puberty blockers in Ryland's. So God created this. We need to put puberty blockers in it. And also maybe dude, this is such a dumb argument. OK, God made fucking blast toys be diabetic. So we shouldn't fucking give him insulin all day so he can fucking die when he's in the presence of a fucking sugar cube? 
What kind of fucking stupid argument is this, dude? Like, oh, well, God made you diabetic, so you have to die. <laughs> what the fuck? It's called medicine! Your wife is literally a doctor, Ben! Your wife is a fucking doctor! I thought you were talking about the Pokemon. No, the fucking friend of the show Blastoise is who I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> Especially as a Jewish person, most of us have a ton of medical issues. <laughs> No, God made you the way you are. He add a penis later on and and cut off healthy breasts through his, through mastitis. If we go through full transition, this is where it's going. Full on hormonal suppressants, testosterone treatments, pumping hormones into the body, changing the body's construction, changing the health outcomes, cutting off healthy breast tissue. Because that's the way God made. And then they do this thing, and I always don't ever get caught up in this bullshit. Whenever they start personally talking about like medical issues a couple of very quick arguments is like every kind of surgery that you're describing you can describe in gruesome details that doesn't mean we should stop doing that surgery okay that's fucking psychotic uh and also the god made this person that way is an idiotic one for the reason that i just mentioned okay that's you're you're fundamentally against medicine if that's the case and i'm pretty sure ben's not like a fucking christian scientist okay i don't think he wants to pray healthcare away okay i don't think you were like oh yeah well i got did you get cancer well god gave you the cancer so you should take it and fucking die like i don't think that's how it works if that was the case then his wife his doctor wife would just be praying at people's bedsides i guess that's how she fucking heals people right says mom with her conservative faith on fox news they met in support groups. There was a father who was sitting across the table. He says, you have no idea how lucky you are to be here, which kind of took me back. I didn't at that point consider myself lucky to be there. And he said, you know, our, our child had displayed this gender dysphoria or this gender misalignment at, at, at the same age that Rylan has. And we didn't listen and we pushed back. That pushback led that child to turn to self-harm as a teenager, which 60% of trans and non-binary kids engage in, according to the Trevor Project. More than 50% consider suicide. That for me was... And Ben's like, we need to get those numbers. We need to get those numbers up. I don't like that. Trevor Project, this liberal think tank mouthpiece that wants to stop trans people from killing themselves, okay? As I'm trying every day, desperately, to get more trans people to kill themselves... The Trevor Project and their liberal attitude towards transgender suicide is unacceptable. It's such a dark thing to talk about. I have to lighten the point a little bit. I'm sorry, okay? But, like, that is literally the point. Like, that's what Ben is trying to do here. That's... Ben has dedicated his life to this, okay? Psycho. It was the turning point. I didn't want to see Ryland to go through that. I'd rather have a living son than a dead daughter. I this is propaganda, that okay? That's pure Trevor Project propaganda. The idea that your choice is between a suicidal girl and a perfectly happy boy is nonsense it's nonsense how is it nonsense when there's so much empirical evidence by the way again ben not to use a page out of your book but like facts don't care about your fucking feelings dickhead like wh what do you mean you can't just say like trevor project is doing propaganda like is he does he have a does he have a counter to this it's a longitudinal study show the suicide out the suicidal ideation rate among lgbt youth is way higher than among cisgender youth like way higher and it remains that way no matter the treatment no matter the the i wonder why dude what the fuck wait that's the reason that's his counter brother you're literally in the process yo he's in the process of of fucking shitting on the trevor project an organization designed exclusively around lowering the lgbt suicide rate while simultaneously being like, it doesn't matter. They want to kill themselves regardless. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? Dude, you did... What do you mean, dude? That's like... You're the reason, dude. You're the reason. People listen to you, unfortunately. So if you take a kid who is confused, and you refuse the possibility of desistance, which is what happens for the vast majority of kids who have gender questioning at young ages. The vast majority, somewhere between 75% and 90% of kids who have gender questioning at a young age will grow out of it. Many of them turn out to be gay, but many of them grow out of it, whether it's gay or straight, whatever. They, it oh, first of all, wait, what? I don't know if that's, wait, is that even real? Like questioning, uh, children question their sexuality and then, uh, you know, some of them become gay. 
Okay, so they were gay, and then some of them don't. Okay, so they weren't gay, nor were they trans. I I, I don't understand. What what is this? I just don't understand. Buy a razor right now. Shut the fuck up! I'm using gay as an umbrella term, okay? Oh my god! Yeah, like the royal we. I'm saying the royal gay, okay? Now, you know what? I've decided. As a, as a specifically biphobic individual, the B in LGBT does stand for balds, okay? It does. It's over. Yeah. I've eliminated it. Either way, I'm the B, bitch. <laughs> yes, if you're both bald and bisexual, then you win. Thank you for being an ally of the bald. We thank you. Yep. Anyway. <laughs> Balds will not replace us. So the Bible is pro-LGBT? It, cer it certainly is. You make fun of a bald man in the Bible? You make fun of a gay person in the Bible? No, no bears come killing you. You make fun of a bald man in the Bible? Old Testament? Bears are going to murder your children, okay? Like, little kids make fun of a bald guy, they get murdered. Technically, the Bible is also pro-postpartum abortion, uh, actually, because of that. Stop that. When you start socially transitioning a child and reinforcing in the child the notion that this kid is met, what do you think that kid's going to do? Now the kid has to stand up to mom and dad in order to say, no, actually, I am a girl. This is madness. And, and I'm not going to get over the fact that this is on Fox News because it demonstrates how the mainstream institutions of our society, including the ones that you may trust as a conservative, are now stabbing you directly between the shoulder blades with, blades with this kind of stuff. We had pushed back. And Dude, this is awesome. Postpartum abortion was my sister's name. LGBT, lesbian, gay, bald, top of the hour ad break. Oh, fuck! That wasn't even that good. I had a fire one lined up. I was like, the top of the hour is here. I'm going to fucking get you this time. Like, it's not even good. You didn't even try hard. You literally did not try hard. It, that's what gets me, is that that was an easy one. That was such a fucking easy one, dude. Bullshit. Absolutely unacceptable. Rolled. Bullshit. How does it feel to get owned? It feels fucking bad, man. It feels fucking bad. Through by erasure. Hasana. No, that study is about demonstrating like any form of gender nonconformity, like a girl playing with a truck or something. It's not about questioning their gender. It's bullshit. Yeah. Um, that's, I mean, that's kind of what I was mentioning as well, which is that just because you fucking wear a dress or want to play with like, you know, male toys as like a assigned female, a birth, a child doesn't mean... Like, doesn't mean that you're trans. You know what I mean? It's so stupid. There's a difference between trans and just, like, not conforming to uh, outdated uh, uh, gender expressions. I'm s uh, like, we can't... For no other kind of medical field, we should allow these psychotic, luddite pieces of shit dictate policy and what can and can't be done so why is it that when it comes to trans people and when it comes to like medical uh, shit revolving around trans people or when it comes to medical issues revolving around abortions um that revolve around a pregnant person's body okay like why is it that we have to listen to republicans talk about it endlessly like it it's so weird it's such a weird fucking thing. Like, shut the fuck up. You don't know anything. You don't know anything. And I don't either. Okay? But the difference between you and I is that, like, at least I'm... I don't know. At least I'm more empathetic than you are and not a fucking psycho who decided for other people what can and can't be done. Why do trans people not make policies that affect trans people? What? Um, because trans people have no power. They're literally... First of all, trans people don't necessarily have, like, the numbers necessary, except for the number uh, one subscribers that avoid the top of the hour ad break right now. But, like, trans people don't... There are not that many fucking trans people uh, to begin with. You know what I mean? It's not like... That's why it's, like, so fucking... Uh, one out of ten. Shut up. I forgot to run the ad break. That's why I said it before I ran it. You know more, not just because of your empathy, but also because you actually fucking listen to us. That's the biggest difference between you and Ben. I just, I don't know. It's so dumb. And 
done what a lot of parents do, I don't think that we would have either one of the kids that you see before you here today. Allowing him to, to live authentically and true to himself and be who he really feels like he is. When you get to know Rylan, you see just how proud and confident he is of himself. Rylan. I think this is funny because like, this is a fucking golden retriever ass family with a trans kid. And they all look so palatable to a conservative audience. And that's why Ben's so triggered. It's because it is agitative propaganda. But in a good way, it's it's good. And that's that's what triggers Ben endlessly, okay? Because Fox News shows trans people all the time, like looking hysterical or people who are not even trans, but like gender non-conforming, you know what I mean? In some capacity. And they fucking show like trans people yelling or anytime there's a crime, they lie and say a trans person did it. You know what I mean? Like they love showing trans people in that situation. But the one time you, you show like a normal trans person behaving normally in their real life and like being happy, they fucking lose their shit. And for the overwhelming majority of trans people, and I've said this before, like they just want to live normal fucking lives, right? And yes, some trans people can be cringe, but so are cis people like all the fucking time. But because cis people are the normative position and not a marginalized minority, we don't immediately ascribe the, the cringiness to like all fucking cis people. We have a different way of categorizing cis people. Same with white people, for example. Same with men. Okay? story got international attention in 2014 when a family YouTube video went viral. And Hillary has since written a book called Raising Rylan. Okay, pause it there. Uh, th there's a shock. In 2014, this kid is now 14. Okay, I may not be amazing at math. The kid is 14. That means he became an international superstar trans kid at age six. That's not even true. No one fucking knows about this kid, dude. What the fuck? Like, what? What are you talking, superstar? What the fuck do you mean, dude? What, like, he's just exaggerating in the weirdest way possible, specifically so we can dunk on this fucking little kid. At age six, does this seem like safe parenting to you or does this seem like child abuse? Taking a small kid, socially transitioning the small kid at the age of six after saying that the kid was exhibiting the notion that she wanted to be a he before she could talk. And then you're writing books and going on national TV. Does this seem like really on Fox News? Okay, keep going. I never thought that I would be known for this, like, as well as I am, but really it's just a small part of who I am. He just brushed things off his shoulders, like, it's fine. He moves on in his life, and he's just kind of, I think everything we've been through, he's just, like, learned to do that, and he's really good at it. I could never do that. The Whittingtons believe sharing their story could make a lasting difference in another child's life, something they learned from that support group father nearly a decade ago. I'm just here to make the ride smoother for others. You might be struggling right now, but we believe in you. This family, we might not know you. We might not know where you live, but, you know, we... I can't believe... How dare he? How dare this trans terrorist try to instill confidence in other trans teenagers in America that are at the precipice of suicidal thought? How dare he? It's time to throw this kid in fucking jail, okay? That's what Ben wants. Forcible detransitioning and, and jail time for this fucking, you know, wonderful little kid who's just, you know, uh, allowed to exist. But if Ben had his way, that's what would happen. We understand you and we believe in you. Just a pure propaganda piece. It what extraordinary courage displayed by Ryland, his sister Brinley, Father Jeff, and Mom Hillary. I want to thank the Whittington family for speaking to us. It's not easy, particularly at a time when, tra when transgender issues have been politicized. People are afraid of what they do not understand, Dana. This family hopes their story will lead to more understanding, more acceptance, and ultimately, more love. Just, just pure propaganda, pure insane propaganda. It, people don't, people don't, are, are afraid of what they, What if we do understand your agenda? What if we are afraid of is the agenda because the agenda is garbage and because it's harming. No, the agenda is not garbage. The agenda is not harming kids. If you look at the facts, Ben Shapiro is demonstrably harming more children by uh, advocating for the policies he advocates for. We are seeing those policies actually make leeway. Uh, we're seeing those policies get represented. We're seeing those policies get reinforced at the state legislatures. And that is truly, once again, 
harming trans children, okay? Yeah, I think Ben is just mad that Rylan's probably taller than he is. You know what I mean? ...children, and because it's deliberately promoting propaganda that is based not in science, but in ideological nonsense rooted in opposition to Judeo-Christian values. Judeo-Christian And traditions values. and mores and Yo, fuck rules. Fuck your values, dude. I mean, seriously, fuck Judeo-Christian values, okay? Well, what is this Judeo-Christian values? And same goes for fucking Islam, too. Like, you can't use values, okay? You can't use the values that you have decided for the, all Abrahamic religions and just decide to use that against, like, weaponize against fucking minorities, okay? That's so dumb. That's not a good value. You're, you have bad values, okay? Fuck you. Fuck yourself. ...and roles. What if that's what we are concerned about? And what if we're particularly concerned when it starts taking over major American conservative institutions like Fox News? If you're a Fox News viewer, you should think very seriously about whether you wish to give a company oh, that promotes this kind of stuff your business. fundamentalist piece of shit, dude. Seriously. Seriously. I, I, I want to watch Fox News. I'm friends with a huge number of people who work at Fox News, including most of the hosts. And I know that most of the hosts do not agree with Fox News becoming a propaganda outlet on behalf of the most radical left agenda on this sort of stuff. They can't. There's no way they do. I've talked to many of them, and I know they don't, as a matter of fact. The fact that management, I assume, crammed this down or went ahead with this because this was greenlit. It was a fully produced segment, which cost Fox money. It's a betrayal of Fox's audience. It's a betrayal of many of the people who work at Fox. And more than anything, it's, it's, a, it's a, a reinforcement of the deep rot that has taken place at the core of our institutions, including in many conservative institutions, which are either too cowardly to defend values that matter or have joined full scale in the attack on those values. I hope you enjoyed that clip. Yeah, we really enjoyed it. Thanks, Ben. Radical left. The radical left don't want teenagers to kill themselves. Very radical. I, Ben Shapiro, a libertarian, think that more teenagers need to kill themselves. I will do everything I can to make sure that that happens. Thanks, Ben. Fucking awesome, dude. What a sick freak. What a sick, twisted fucking freak.